Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In Money Stocks. My name is Nick Santiago. Today is July 21st, 2015. Thank you all for tuning in. We're going to start off with the usual S&P 500 E-mini futures. You're going to see the futures are trading down about a point and a half right now to 21.20 per contract. We'll see where they settle out today. But again, uh, market has been up almost in parabolic fashion for the last seven eight days so um, we'll see if the market does simmer in here and where it goes but there are lots of stocks uh, in the news today a lot of companies reporting earnings there are lots of upgrades and downgrades there's also just a lot of activity out there so we're gonna start off with the big one today IBM international business machines and what you're gonna see here is the stock is trading at hundred sixty four dollars and thirty cents it closed at hundred seventy three dollars and twenty two cents so it had a run-up into the earnings and now it is selling off again i'm gonna have some gap levels for this once the opening bell rings so again if you want to trade this right alongside of us come take a seven day free trial you'll see how we're going to manage it but again ibm is starting the day off pretty down uh pretty much lower and um, that is going to affect the dow jones industrial average ibm is still a big big component in the dow uh not as big as uh goldman sachs and a uh, I believe one other company, but uh, IBM is still probably the second or third largest holding in the Dow. So remember, the Dow is a price cap weighted index. So IBM will definitely have a mega, major negative effect on the Dow at the opening. Uh, let's take a look at a few other stocks out here. We're going to talk about Verizon. Ticker symbol is VZ. I believe there's another Dow component. Verizon is trading at $46.95, closed at $48.10. So Verizon is starting to pull back a little bit. I still think the stock has pretty good support right at $46 if it does trade down there today. So we will keep that on the radar. Let's take a look at San Mina, S-A-N-M is the ticker symbol here. The stock is trading up around $21.70. I think I will have gap resistance levels for this one. So come on over. Take that seven-day free trial. We'll be, we will be trading this one just after the opening bell rings this morning. Another stock in the news today, I believe, is Tesla. Um, if I'm not mistaken, the stock is trading sharply lower on a downgrade. So I believe Tesla is trading decently lower this morning on a downgrade. Uh, either way, though, uh, the stock closed yesterday at 282.26. It is trading at 271.30. So we're going to have to watch Tesla this morning. Um, this will be on our radar once the opening bell rings. So we will look to be trading Tesla. Um, I forget the news on Tesla, why it's down. I think it was just a downgrade by UBS. But you could check it out for yourself. Either way, um, pretty good decline on Tesla. And I still think there's a lot of resistance up there at that double top area from yesterday. So even if the stock does rally back up. I just don't see it breaking out at this point in time. Let's take a look at INFY, which is Infosys. Uh, stock is catching a very nice bid today. Closed at 1577. It is now trading at 1766. I have to say, I think you're looking at a fairly good amount of resistance up here, uh, even at current levels. So be a little bit careful with this one. Um, gets to around. Yeah, it's right around there now. So this could get to $17.75 to $18. There should be a ton of resistance there. So limited upside at this stage of the game, but a good, good, solid move. We'll watch this one once the opening bell rings. Let's take a look at UTX, which is United Technologies, another major Dow component. Stock is trading at 105.35, closed at 110.48. Pretty good fall. We'll have some gap levels for this one in the uh, intraday stock chat room. So come on over. Take that seven-day free trial. You'll see everything that we're doing. Let's take a look at Travelers. I'm not sure that's moving much. Oh, it is. Travelers closed at 102.61, now trading at 104.75. So this is a good move. We'll give this the upside bias to 106.60, maybe 106.70. That's where you're going to run into some resistance. But if you own it, try your stop loss. It's a great pop today. Let's take a look at SAP. I have not looked at this one yet, so I'll be doing it off the cuff. Not seeing any activity there, but this will be on our radar. Right off the bat, though, I do think around $75, you have a lot of resistance. So either way, um, if it get through 75, has upside potentially to 77.41. That is my next major resistance level 
for SAP if it does get there. Let's take a look at the good old hog, Harley Davidson. Nice pop here this morning, closed at $54.94. It is now trading at $57.90. I'm going to give this the upside bias to around $58.10. Fifty-eight ten. Though I'm going to watch this pretty closely. Should be a fair amount of resistance. Uh, we'll have more levels for you in the intraday stock chat today. Uh, let's take a look at Baker Hughes. B H I is the ticker symbol. The stock's not doing much, but I believe they did report earnings. Let's take a look at X L K, which is Lexmark. Um, we're not getting a lot of activity, but they reported earnings as well, so that's going to be important. Let's take a look at CNI is the ticker symbol here. Good little pop on this one, closed at 60 bucks. Now trading at 61.38. I'm going to give this the upside bias to around 61.50. There looks to be a fair amount of resistance there. We'll look at this once the opening bell rings. Could be on our radar as a play today. Last but not least, TD Ameritrade, and you're seeing that. Uh, the stock right now is trading around 38.38, closed at 38.36, so basically flat from where it closed yesterday, but it will be on our radar today. I believe they did report earnings. Now, Apple will be reporting earnings today after the closing bell, so the stock has a tendency to run up into earnings. However, it did have a big move yesterday. You are facing big resistance levels up here, so we'll see what Apple does, but again, everybody will be waiting on the earnings, which are today after the closing bell so that is going to be important to see and uh, we'll look and see how that plays out but it could be you know it, apple's always a market moving event so again the world's largest market cap stock is coming out with earnings tonight after the closing bell all right let's take a look at the gold market gold futures trading down four dollars and forty cents gold was absolutely destroyed yesterday it's getting hit again today right now the gld is trading at 105.76 basically where it closed yesterday, so we're not going to make too much out of it. The oil market, crude futures trading up 15 cents to $50.60 a barrel. Let's go to the USO, which is a good oil ETF, and that this morning is trading around 1682, closed at 1669, so a little uptick there, but again, if the dollar catches any kind of a bid, oil should remain weak, um, and that's kind of how it works. So we'll see if that's the way it plays out but again we do have a lot of equities out here if you want to trade right alongside of us come on over take that seven day free trial to the intraday stock chat you'll get to see everything that we're doing and we've had a stellar 2015 we're gonna to look to keep that going with that being said everybody have a great trading day and we will see you on the charts